I'm increasingly sensing that the primary threat to nature and people today comes from centralizing and monopolizing power. To model this biologically and culturally diverse and rich world of ours on the privileged categories and concepts of one class, one race, and one gender of a single species. And we should all treat injustice anywhere as injustice everywhere. Basically, human rights are violated every day. As an academic in humanities, and also as a mother of three children, I'm not willing to accept this. We cannot hope for sustainable development without peace, stability, human rights and effective governance. Well, I take the words of my Right Livelihood jury colleague, Juan Pablo Orego from Chile. He said, if you look at the 182 nominations, then you see a caravan of the world's misery. But on the other hand, you have 182 heroes and heroines who all stand up against it. What has kept me motivated is both the continued suffering of my people and my strong belief in what I am engaged with and striving for. And so we must fight, peacefully but firmly. When I see these people, laureates and people like the laureates, the movements that they sparked, this really motivates me in, um, in doing more of this activism and be a part of their solution. Because I'm like on the more privileged side of things, I do believe that it's kind of my duty to educate myself on that because it obviously doesn't come to me naturally because I don't face these challenges. A generation which is also inclusively educated, playing and learning together would be in a position to easily tackle exclusion. My form of activism is giving the change maker a voice within university. The solution to global problems is the bringing together of activism with academia. You know, human beings in nature cannot be what they cannot see. I believe if people can uh, see you doing, then they will definitely learn how to do it. In Education for Sustainable Development, the wide network of Right Livelihood Laureates provides us with the possibility to include first-hand experience into our teaching classes in potentially every discipline. Additionally to my regular curriculum, these lectures give me an interdisciplinary perspective that is very important in tackling these issues. It will require that we discuss with different stakeholders at an equal basis how we will design the future of our world. The network between the laureates, academics and you, the public, is globally building bridges between people, as we all have to deal with human rights and ecology. As president of the Right Livelihood Foundation Switzerland, I'm very pleased that we now could establish the center at Zurich University, because that sends a strong sign to the civil society, but even to the academic world, and of course to our laureates. It says that each and every one of us can be a change maker every day. I cannot promise you that we will win this struggle, but I can promise you that in every corner of the world we will fight and fight hard. And we have to be able to link our hands together and work together. That's the way to survive in the battle. I salute the courage of all those who tow this path. It is their courage that sustains our struggle. In solidarity, we march ahead and we will not give up. Thank you very much.